So this is going to be the last video I make regarding this topic. And this time I'm dead serious because I'm fed the hell up. Okay. So, um, yeah, what happened was uh, my former friend blatantly lied on Daywave and said that we had been, uh, that I had been, quote, harassing her for eight years. I haven't even known her for eight years. I didn't know she existed for eight years. Now, I may have misspoken in the past, but I'm also not a math professor. I did the math, and uh, when I started talking to her, it was in the year 2017. It was well into the Trump administration, uh, because that was one of the things that we that we agreed on was that Trump was an idiot. Okay, that was what brought us, you know, brought us closer together uh, on a political and intellectual basis was our distaste or disdain for Donald Trump and for Donald Trump's supporters. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of where that came from originally. Uh, so now how does this go? Well, she lied, blatantly lied about how long I knew her because that's impossible. It would be impossible for me to have known her for eight years. Uh, these trolls are bragging. Initially, they bragged that they had turned me against her. Okay, and I'm not going to name her because I really am trying to respect her, even though I think she's a scam artist and that this whole thing was a setup from the beginning. And I'll get into that. Uh, but I am trying to respect her because honestly, what is sad is I really did care about her for the time period that we were friends or that she said we were friends. I really did genuinely care about her. I don't anymore. Uh, so these trolls wanted to say that they had turned me against her. Nobody turned me against her but her. The only person that had the power to turn me against her was her. And she did that. Okay? I did everything in my power to uh, allow her to disassociate from these people because I refused. I refused to believe that she was the vile, disgusting, horrible person that she is. Okay? I really did. I didn't want to believe it. I had friends at the time when I was talking to her actively that warned me about her, that were telling me she was setting me up and I didn't believe them. And in some ways I still don't because it doesn't really make sense, perfect sense anyway. But the thing that is important to remember, her and I were friends actually for two years. Okay, I messed that up and said almost four years. It wasn't really. It was like 2017 to almost 2019. So a little less than two years. Okay. But in that time, we were very good friends. I started redoing the, the, I started actually trying to understand the timeline because when she said I knew her for eight years or that I knew of her for eight years, that made no sense because Trump didn't get a second term, if you know what I mean. So I started looking back and I realized, wow, this, she's a liar, just like everything else she said was a lie. And that's what's important to understand. Most of what she said is a lie or a complete exaggeration. The one that I think that is used most against me is the idea that, okay, when she was 22 years old, she had posted a photograph of herself when she was 15. And she stated that she was sad that she couldn't call herself a Lolita. If people want to get where that Lolita lover thing comes from. Um, so what I did is privately, I didn't expect it to come out publicly because I thought she was a better person that with more, more morals than she obviously has demonstrated. Uh, and I thought she was a God fearing Catholic girl, but she's not. <laughs> so what happened was she posted a picture of herself when she was 15 years old, when she was 22 years old. And what happened was I privately told her cause Lolita means jailbait. Okay, so what I told her was, wow, 15-year-old Eliana was a really cute piece of jailbait. That's what I said, okay? And the reason I said uh, Lolita, I was a, quote, Lolita lover, was a way when I, when I thought there was a way to get through to her. I clearly state there is absolutely no goddamn way in hell to get through to this girl. Uh, she has probably been setting me up from the beginning, like friends of mine had stated. I did think it was interesting that she broke down during her one live stream and she, uh, she admitted we were friends and she also, uh, she got very upset because she knew that I cared about her. She read what I said. I didn't lie about her. 
If she didn't want anything romantic to do with me, if she didn't want anything sexual to do with me, I didn't care. I was her friend no matter what. And that's what I always told her. I was her friend no matter what. However, no matter what takes a different context when somebody is actively trying to destroy your life. Okay? So, what I want to point out too is uh, what's more uh, bizarre? A guy like me that cares about a girl, okay, and a woman, I'm sorry, let me, let me call her what she is, a woman, that way people don't mistake me and think that I'm going after some young girl. No, she was a woman when I met her. She was at least 19. Uh, but at this point, I don't know what to believe with her time frames because she's all over the place. Okay, uh, so what happened was what's what's more what's more uh, bizarre? A gentleman that cares about a young lady and uh, stops talking to her when she stops talking to him, and then starts worrying about her when he begins getting threatened by people posing as her family uh, that are threatening me. They were threatening me, threatening to kill me, and everything else. Uh, you know, I didn't know what to think, especially when she interrupted them and said that she was single and childless still. Okay. So I didn't know what to think in regards to her. I didn't know if she was okay. I didn't know if she was being threatened. I had assumed because what made sense to me was that she had abruptly stopped talking to me because somebody was, uh, you know, intimidating her. And the one thing that is funny is, look, the girl said she had autism. Flat out. She told me she had autism flat out. Uh, and that was going to be a hurdle to her, she told me. Because in person, she didn't have the social ability that she did online. And I told her that didn't matter. Nothing about her mattered to me. She has beta thalassemia, which is a rare genetic disorder uh, in Mediterranean people, particularly people from Sardinia. Um, that didn't bother me. Okay. So the thing is the the bottom line is, and I've, I've posted evidence of that, of her telling me she has beta thalassemia. Unfortunately, I didn't take screenshots at the beginning of our uh, friendship because I didn't think it would be necessary. I only started doing that when friends of mine kept telling me, you know, be wary of this girl. She's out to get you. A lot of people thought she was out to get me. And that's when I started taking screenshots of, um, you know, of our conversations. And also other people started taking screenshots and thank goodness they started taking screenshots. Uh, but I don't, unfortunately, I don't have a screenshot of her saying that she had autism. Whether she really has autism or not, that I don't know. I'll be fair and say that. I do not know if she actually has autism or if that was a ploy to get me to empathize with her, to get her to, to get me to feel sorry for her. That's what I think at this point. I don't think she has autism. I think she was just trying to make me feel sorry for her. Does she have beta thalassemia? I don't really know that to be true. Okay, she said so, but she said a lot of things. So that I don't know either. Does she really have beta thalassemia? I don't know. I know she told me she did. That doesn't mean that she did because she told me a lot of things. Okay, um, now what's more bizarre me, a, a gentleman, like I said, a guy that was concerned about a girl that he was being threatened over, or these weirdos that are stalking me, threatening me, intimidating me, sending people over my apartment, uh, sending people to literally slash my tire. Uh, these things are actually happening. Uh, you know, the voicemails were not made up. The thousands of emails I have are not made up. These people have been continually threatening me for years now. And they can deny it all they want, but the truth is, um, that's what's happened. That's the reason that I have been the way I have been. That's the reason I have reacted the way I have reacted. It's unfortunate that I have to come to terms with the fact that she was in on this from the beginning. I never wanted to believe that. And in some ways, I still, I don't believe that. But that's what I, I there's, there's two possible scenarios. The first possible scenario, which is the scenario that I have chosen to accept up until this point, well, not up until this point, up until about a week ago when she appeared on, uh, on Day Wave, uh, the, one, the first scenario is that they convinced her that I'm a big, scary monster and that I'm out to get her. I don't believe that that's really plausible. 
I, I don't think that she is that stupid. I, I really don't. I mean, she did talk to me very much. She knows me very well, okay? Uh, and the thing is, you know, she gets, she knows everything about me. Uh, I don't know everything about her, which leads me to the second scenario, which is what everybody had warned me about, was that she was catfishing me and setting me up for disappointment. Uh, and I think that might be what happened, uh, because she was always fishing for information from me, but never really gave any information about herself. Now, could she just be a narcissist, a covert narcissist, now a communal narcissist? Uh, possible. That's very possible. Uh, I noticed the blame shifting. That's, that's a big thing is the blame shifting that comes up in narcissism quite a bit. I'm not, I, I tried very hard not to blame her. I tried very hard to accept that she was having a rough time, that she was being taken advantage of. I don't think that's true anymore. So ultimately, yeah, when they're, when they're bragging that they turned me against her, nobody turned me against her except her. The only person that could turn me against her was her, and she successfully did that. I'm moving on with my life. I don't care. Now, I might not be, uh, you know, I might not be posting it up with fancy pictures or anything like that, but I'm not a picture person. I don't post a lot of pictures of what I'm doing or anything like that. Uh, other people do. If you look at my Instagram, there's not a lot of pictures of me. There's not very many pictures of me. A lot of it is uh, political commentary, uh, food that I'm eating, things of that nature. I don't post many pictures of me online. Um, I did for a time period when I was friends with her because I wanted her to get to know me better. Um, same reason I made this YouTube channel. Originally, was so that she could get to know me. Um, the same reason I, well, the real reason I wanted the math class was so that I could learn math. I really, I'm ashamed of my lack of ability in math. But the main, the other reason that I hired her to teach me math was because at that point in time, I was going down to Argentina, and I thought that if she had begun teaching me math, uh, perhaps it would be a, a nice way to build a rapport with her if she wanted to meet me. That's what I had thought. Um, so the, the constant harassment, I've been harassed longer than I've known her. She is not the reason I was harassed. She is a tool of harassment. Uh, they try to refocus. Every time they try to refocus. First, it was my former employer. Then it was her. Then it was the karate match. Which, by the way, that karate match, this is what's funny about that. Royce did not challenge me to a karate match. He challenged me to an MMA match, which, despite him outweighing me by at least two or three times what I weigh, I accepted that. And I, I don't mind that. But uh, Adonis Paul, Adonis, uh, challenged me to a karate match. And what happened there was he, he wussed out because he's a wuss. That's what happened. He wussed out because he's a wuss. Um, I didn't, uh, and that was not, no, they had never intended on following through with that karate match. Although they tried to make me think they did. What they did is they did that for reactions. Do I care that I'm not going to be able to have a karate match with these people? No. Although if Royce actually did challenge me to a karate match, that would be hilarious. I would dominate the hell out of him in a karate match. Mixed martial arts, he has a little bit of a weight advantage on me. I'd still dominate the hell out of him, but he has a little bit of a weight advantage on me. It'd be like me uh, grappling with two or three people at once. Uh, but I, I still think that he would lose and lose very badly if we had an MMA match. Uh the other thing is this, uh, one of the things I want to point out, like the lies that have been told about me, the lies that have been told about my family even, and I don't even like my brother after what my brother has done to me, but uh, they lied about what happened to my brother. They just spit things out. They don't understand what they're saying. Uh, I, I had rewatched some of the programs and I have debated whether I want to rip apart uh, the programs and show where the inconsistencies are. And I realize it's not worth my time. It's time for me to move on from this bull crap. But the thing is, like one of the things JJ was saying that my brother had, uh, uh, whatever, you know, had, uh, killed his wife in a DUI. That's not true. That isn't a true scenario. That's not what happened. 
I know what happened, and she, my former friend, knows what happened because I told her what happened. She might not remember because I was telling her about how my brother took advantage of me and took all my goddamn money when I moved in with him to try and help him take care of my niece. So she knows what happened. So for her to go, for what? For what? Is ridiculous. Because she knows what happened. Okay? And it wasn't a vehicular accident. Um, and what happened was, yeah, my, my brother's wife passed away. I had to move in with my brother. Uh, he basically swindled me out of a bunch of money. And ultimately with that, I have to accept that's my own stupidity for helping out somebody that is basically a career criminal. Uh, and that's what I get. I get, I get swindled by a swindler. It's not, I shouldn't have, uh, I should have seen it coming. After all, I hadn't talked to the guy for almost a decade prior to that because of what a prick he was. But my point is, uh, the slander against myself, against my family, it's absolutely ridiculous. None of it is true. Well, some of the stuff about my brother is true, but the point is, the one thing that, that cracks me up, so they use a, a guy from Minersville, Pennsylvania, a James R. Clark, not James Robert Clark III, James R. Clark. Again, not James Robert Clark III. I am James Robert Clark III. I am 39 years old. I was born on January 28th. I was born at Lower Bucks Hospital in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. That's who I am. I never have heard of Minersville. And the gentleman in Minersville, who is James R. Clark, is, uh, was born on November something, is uh, 38 years old, and was born in 1983 also, but on a different date and in a different place. Okay, so... For them to put this out there as who I am, and number number two, that's not his criminal record either. What they've simply done is they've simply read my brother's criminal record as this dude's criminal record. It's not my criminal record, and I highly doubt that this dude from Minersville has committed the exact same offenses as my brother. That would be very difficult to believe, okay? Unless they were long-lost identical twins or something like that, and it's identical twin research, and but I, I still would highly doubt that it would be the exact same criminal record. Uh, my point is, is this nonsense has gone far enough. Uh, one more thing. Uh, JJ never, never sent me any clippers or they went to the wrong address. And the reason that he can rest assured of that is because if he did send me anything in the mail, he would be being prosecuted for using the mail to harass me. Now, people are saying, oh, I was told to shave my head. I didn't know that. I honestly don't watch, I don't watch these shows. So, although that may have been, I know, I know that my former friend had told me that, because that was one of the, the streams that I watched, was one of her first streams. Um, yeah, why did I shave my head? I shave my head very regularly. Why did I have long hair? Well, because I was planning on going to Argentina. Okay, so the reason I had had long hair is she liked my long hair. When I had first started talking to her, I had a full beard and very long hair, and she liked that. She thought it looked very nice. That's why I was very gaucho-esque, <laughs> and that's why I had long hair, okay? And I didn't have a full beard. Why didn't I have a full beard? Well, because of the coof and because of, uh, you know, and because of the impending threat of nuclear annihilation, uh, I need to make sure that respirators and gas masks and N95s and things like that actually fit my face so that I don't get sick uh, from either COVID or radio radioactive fallout. Um, that's the reason I shave pretty much every day. I actually have to shave right now from the looks of things. But the point is, the point is the reason I grew my hair long was because she liked my hair. Why did I shave my head? Well, I shaved my head, actually. I was still going to go to Argentina at that point, but the reason I had shaved my head was she had expressed that she didn't want to talk to me. She didn't want to see me. She didn't want anything to do with me. Uh, the reason I keep a shaved head is because in the martial arts, we like to pull the hair a lot, okay? Like you'll pull the hair back and, you know, chop a guy in the throat and whatnot. The hair is a very... Um, easy thing to grab a hold of. So when you have long hair, it puts you at risk of being assaulted 
uh, particularly in a country like Argentina with a lot of uh, knife offenses where they rob you at knife point a lot. I didn't want to have long hair and go to a country where I could, you know, get my throat slit and my money taken. Now, it is uncommon. More so in Argentina, they just take your stuff. They don't kill you. Uh, but the thing is, that was the reason that I, I had long hair and that is the reason I shaved my head. I regularly have short hair for the simple fact that long hair is a detriment. If you ever wondered why jujitsu guys shave their heads or why karate, well, a lot of karate guys used to shave their heads, it's because a lot of our techniques, we do, we pull the hair and it, it's used because where the head goes, the body follows. So if you grip somebody up by the ears or by the hair or what have you, you can make them go wherever you want. And that's the reason I, I shaved my head. It wasn't any political reason. It wasn't any uh, social reason. It wasn't because I was told to. If you look at my past videos, I would regularly shave my head on a regular basis. Uh, the first reason I, I had shaved my head initially, again, it was uh, my, uh, my ex-girlfriend at the time. She had always loved my hair. And she, you know, I have very nice hair, apparently. Uh, so when I actually broke up with her, when she finally decided, okay, we can break up, that was when I shaved my head. Because I had no reason to have long hair if I wasn't with somebody that, you know, their whole, oh, your hair is amazing, which I think is kind of ridiculous. But that was the reason that I had shaved my head years back. It was the first time I could shave my head in a long while because she wouldn't let me have a shaved head. Uh, she didn't want me in public with her with a shaved head. Uh, she also thinks that when I shave my head, I look too young and she's, uh, you know, she's uh, self-conscious about her age, being that she's a couple years older than me. So that's that's what that was about, okay? So, I mean, it's not like shaving my head is anything new. When I was younger, uh, I, you know, I was... I shaved my head pretty much every day for a number of years, okay? So that's the reason my head was shaved. And no, I didn't receive clippers. If I did, uh, JJ would be being prosecuted for using the mail to send people harassing uh, objects. And if I ever do receive anything from, the from them from the in the mail, unlike Mary, I will go right to the police and I will point out these people are harassing me through the mail, which is a felony. It's also a felony to fabricate a criminal record. It's also a felony to forge a criminal record and to mis misidentify a person pur purposely in order to incite the public against them. So yeah, that's the gist of this. Now I was trying to make this video as short as possible because frankly, these people are not worth my time. Uh, my former friend is not worth my time. Uh, she never was worth my time. It's unfortunate that my life had to be destroyed for me to understand that she is worthless and she never was worth anything. It's sad. I mean, she's a very smart person. Uh, I can't believe that she's the way she is. Uh, it's I have to. I have to accept it because that's what that's what reality shows is that she is a vile, disgusting person. I wasn't right about anything about her. The only thing I was right about with her is that she is a vile, disgusting person. And that was the only thing I was right about. And regardless of what she looks like on the outside, that doesn't change who she is and what she is on the inside. And that's what I always explained to her. Uh, her external appearance never, never mattered to me. I didn't care what race she was or anything like that. All I cared about was that she was the person she presented herself to me, which was a good Catholic Christian person with high moral standards and high morals uh, and a conservative. She was allegedly socially conservative. She is none of those things as far as I'm aware at this point. Uh, and she is a vile and disgusting person. And she needs to leave me alone as do these people at Daywave. This is my last video I'm making to clarify these things. If they continue to harass me, I will simply block them. And that's all for this video.